After my latest video, I realized I didn't really give y'all a recap of all the styles I tried out during the challenge and which ones I like best, so that's what this video is going to be about. So I started off the challenge in January 2016 with crochet braids. This was right when the whole crochet braids phenomenon like hit the scene and everybody was rocking them. I did post a video about why I decided to do the protective style challenge and also what type of hair I use for these particular twists. Uh, to check that out, you can click the link above. But I ended up wearing these crochet braids for six weeks. And I did take a break, about a two to three week break after taking out the twists. And I did that for each of the protective styles that I wore. Um, I never wore any of these protective styles back to back. So after the break, I decided to try crochet braids again this time with a different type of hair. If you want to see that install process and the detail about the type of hair I use, you can click the link above because I did post a video about that process. Um, I will say that crochet braids was the cheapest style I did. Um, I was able to install these crochet braids myself. It didn't take that long to put in. Um, I did pay somebody to do the braid pattern for me though because I'm not really that good at, at braiding. So overall, I would say that I didn't like the crochet braids as much as the other long-term styles I tried. Uh, for one, it just didn't look natural to me. It kind of looked poofy in sections, and then some of the twists were kind of thick. I will say that my hair was more moisturized with crochet braids, though, compared to other styles. Um, just because my hair was more compact to my scalp, it was easier for me to get to it and moisturize it. But other than that, just the look of it, um, I didn't really care for out of the other styles. So I ended up keeping the crochet braids in for eight weeks, y'all. I know that was a lot. <laughs> um, but after that, I decided to try a weave. That was the first time I tried a weave as well. Like, it was the first time for a lot of things in 2016. You can see here the part is kind of looking weird, uh, but I did end up putting in a closure after this video. Um, the weave, I, I it was like a love-hate relationship. Um, it was a curly weave, which made me feel better about it. And I like that I can, you know, style it, do twist outs, etc. Um, I never tried a wash and go. It had movement. It looked pretty natural. Um, it was just the fact that it was a weave that was just, you know, made me a little bit uncomfortable. The hair seemed good quality. Um, I used Her Given Hair and I did post a video about it so just click the link above to check that out. In that video I do show how the hair was installed and washed and then how the part was initially done as well as my first initial impressions of the hair. So this is just how the hair looked before I like combed it out and styled it. This is how it looks after I did a twist out. So it looks way more natural here and then also I had the closure installed. As you'll see there, um, some people even thought this was my real hair, so I guess this was a successful weave attempt. Um, I only tried twist outs with this hair, and the twist outs lasted a long time, like two, three weeks at a time. I would still have definition, um, and then you can see the definition is also really uniform compared to my real hair. Um, I did post a video on the process for how I did the twist out and how I detangled the weave and all that, so to check that out, Click the link above. I will say that keeping up with the weave and maintenance for it was way more involved than the other long-term protective styles. That's probably why I don't like it the best. I did like the versatility of styling and how natural it looked, but it was just a lot of work. Oh, I would say I like the weave more than the crochet braid, but not as much as I like some of the other long-term protective styles. Um, I did end up keeping the weave in for seven weeks um, and I ended up washing it more often and styling it more often than I would the other styles. Uh, so next up here is Z braids. I like the braids the most out of all the styles. Uh, it looked pretty natural to me. Um, it was very versatile in terms of styling even though I practically wore it the same way every day. So this is probably the first week that I had the braids installed. It does look a little bit scalpy, but you see here after, this is about week five, it looked very more natural, um, and I found a style that I liked, as you'll see there. Um, I like these braids because of the way they looked, pretty much. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, moisturizing was a little bit harder with these because my real hair was woven throughout the hair. So it was hard to uh, get my hair moisturized and then keep it moisturized. But overall, the look just looked far better than any of the other styles I tried. And also the maintenance of this style was little to none. Like I was literally just going in the shower, wetting my hair and then hopping out like every other week. So after that, I decided to give my hair and especially my edges a mini break by trying out mini twists. Now, I didn't post a YouTube video about these mini twists, so this is a Snapchat video, guys. Very low quality video, but I did give a lot of updates throughout the year 2016 on Snapchat. And if you want to see how I do mini twists, I posted a video in the past about how I do them. So if you want to check that out, click the link above. I wore these mini twists for I think four to five weeks about. They're not really considered protective style, more so a low manipulation style. But still I feel like it protected my hair somewhat because I wore the mini twists mostly in a bun the whole time. And last but not least, I tried out Senegalese twists. I would say these are my second favorite style right after the braids that I tried. Um, I liked how they looked and also the ease and low maintenance of it all. Um, one thing I would say about these is that they're, they were a lot smaller than the braids and were unraveling at the ends. But despite all those issues, <laughs> I still think it was, it was better than the other styles I tried. Um, I wore these Senegalese twists for, I believe, seven weeks. I did go to a braiding shop to have these done. It took them about four hours to do, and it was two people on my head. Um, so that's my protective style challenge, guys. Those are all the styles I wore. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.